Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Menu True Nerd, and welcome back to Jet Force Gemini. Last time I introduced the game and we completed Goldwood, and today we are just in the little kind of lobby area of the SS Anubis, a freighter ship. Uh, obviously you'll notice that there's a few little bits and pieces dotted around here, mainly my capacity is increased for my pistol and my machine gun, so I get more powerful and I get a bit more health for a Gemini capacity increase there. So now for each of my four bars, I've got an extra uh, one block of health. So I've got four bars of health in general. However, there's more in here than that because this game just loves rewarding exploration. And, and that is the mark of a good game where it rewards exploration. Um, because if you go around to the side of the airlock here and you see these boxes, you climb up these boxes and then you, get, you can get up to the top here. You can't get up here any other way. And there's another chest up here, which isn't obvious from the ground level because the chests aren't that tall. Open that up and the game gives you, oh, it's only a shotgun. Only a plasma shotgun. Obviously, no no big deal. No big deal at all, a plasma shotgun. So let's just kind of go over to that for a second. And then just climb up to the top here. And again, all of this is optional. None of this had to be here. This is just me exploring and finding things. And there's another thing I can use the yellow key on. The yellow key, which I found... And that was, again, completely optional last time. So screw it, let's just go into this area. I can't even remember what this area is. Is this the... Is this the... Oh, is this just a different way up to the hold? Hello, I'm going to use the shotgun on you. Oh, you seem to have exploded. Um, even though it's called a shotgun, it's not really like a shotgun in a traditional way. Um, it's uh, it's basically... I'm not really sure what the best way to describe it is. It, you charge it up. You charge it up. Um, and then it's basically perfectly accurate at a very... Actually, does it fade out? Oh, no, it does fade out. It does fade out, so it's not its not a perfect traditional shotgun. Um, you, where are the bugs? Um, oh, don't fall off, don't fall off, I want to be up here. This being up here is good. Uh, let's just uh, detonate. Oh, ho, ho! I think one of them did it rather than me. Excellent news, excellent flipping news. Uh, so yeah, this is exactly where I would be other normally. Um, but in this case, I've kind of ended up here by accident. Um... This is exactly where you would be normally, though admittedly it does let you, uh, these uh, these circuits are uh, how you deactivate cell doors in a prison later in the level, so that's quite relevant. Uh, but all you need to do now is, oi, no, 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 actually, now switch over to, and yes, shotgun, shotgun, this is how tough the, the big purple lads are. They can take multiple fully charged shotgun to the, sh uh, to the face. Uh, but, uh, where's the... Oh, oh, he's standing so close to a tribal. Oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. Now he's not. Now he's got... Now we can nail him pretty easily. Um, yeah, I can't even remember what the point of being up here is, really. Um, I've just kind of... Oh, is this a... Is this a different brand new area? What's this? Oh, I love it. I love it. There's just a new area here. I don't even know what this is. And this is completely flipping just... This is... I'm in the... I'm in the depository. Uh, we've got snipers throwing uh, grenades, which is a little bit concerning, but oh no, I shouldn't. Ah, never mind. I should change over to the pistol to get more. Uh, sorry, I should change over to the machine gun to get more machine gun ammo, because uh, I could use some more of that. Oi. Down you go. Snipers go down to one hit, which is really kind of convenient. They're very um, they're very powerful, but they go down very quickly as well. Um, oh, 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 hello. Who's, who's over there? Oi. Go away. There we go. Where's his gun? I'm not sure where his gun's gone, which is inconvenient. Oh, I see a sniper. Oh, flipping heck. Oh, there. This this, this is um, optional areas, but optional areas are tough, of course. Optional areas are tough, which makes perfect sense. And where's the... Sora. That. Yep, you're going to die. And then one more. There's a sniper up here. Oh, they are really good at hitting you, by the way. Which you'd kind of expect, really, them being snipers and all. I need to find some health, otherwise I'm going to be in trouble in this area pretty damn quickly. Oh, oh yes. That was lucky. He decided to come. And he's dropped a five-unit Gemini thing. Excellent. Convenient news. Uh, yes, I remember this bit. This is like this is a really maze-like area where it's so easy to get lost. Very hard to figure out where you've been and where you haven't. Um, oh, yeah. Machine gun also very good at dealing with snipers because if a single one of the shots hits them, they... Oh, flipping heck, that was bad. Uh, right, I'm going to let some of these guys come to me, perhaps. Um, so there's loads of health over there. Loads of health. I'm going to go for the health, going 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 for the health. Yeah, there we are. That was worth it. And, uh, yes. Oi. Oi. Oh, God, they're really fast. Uh, yes, I like how fast the enemies were in this game. Uh, one dead. There we are, another one dead. And his gun. 
sniper goes down. Okay, after a lot more fighting, I think we're actually approaching the end of the area here. We found a door anyway, which is a pretty positive thing. Uh, and I think, I cannot for the life of me remember, but if I'm remembering this correctly, what's very likely to happen next, as a consequence of me doing all of this, is something very cool indeed. Ah uh, yes, indeed I was right. I found my ship. Is this all of the tribals? I have a feeling there's actually were quite a lot of tribals in this end area. Um, but I can't, don't think if it was necessarily all of them. In fact, it's nothing but babies. Nothing but babies. Odd. So yes, this is a secret exit, but I feel like I've... Oh, hang on, no, there's still one over there. Still one on top of the crates there. Hang on, this is, this is just the room of tribal babies, which is kind of weird. Uh, that all of the babies were apparently just put in one room, but I'm missing five of them. So as, I, as I've made it in here, I now want to go and find the other five, which I'm going to guess if I just keep following around the room, I will find my way to. Aha, another door around this way. This seems good. Oh, oh, we've got... Oh, no! Oh. One of them got... Oh, wait, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. Oi, you tried to shoot a tribal. You injured him, but I don't think you killed him. Uh, this might be it. This is, yes, that was our first instance of these guys actually trying to murder tribal straight up. Uh, now there's one still out there. Is he in here? Yes! There we are, right there. I've got all 14 tribals. Beautiful. Yeah, the bugs will unfortunately attempt to, uh, will attempt to murder the tribal, so you've got to be a little bit careful of that. Uh, which is going to be a little bit of a problem. Alright, now, back to the secret. The secret exit to the level. And you might be thinking, oh, so big deal, you found a secret alternative exit. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This game is far, far better than that. Instead, my ship takes off. Nice little unique little thing. And while it's never really explained why um, at all, um, normally when I'd leave the SS Anubis, I'd move on to the next area, which was uh, which is called Tor Fret, incidentally. Uh, but that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen on this occasion. Instead, because I found a different exit point, I go to a completely unrelated level. For no well-explained reason. Welcome to the... What was beautiful on the N64 and is even more beautiful now. Welcome to Walkway. A secret level that you, yeah, you just kind of come across. And let's be clear. I went into the first mission of the game, went into an optional area, found a secret key inside that. That, by climbing into an optional secret area of the second level, let me get into a new area, which if I solved a maze, allowed me into a secret area. This game has secrets upon secrets upon secrets, so much flipping depth to it. It's just gorgeous. Like, name me another game where in the very first area you walk into, there's just a little secret side room where there's just a secret little just bonus fun weapon that's just flipping fish food. And then the first mission, if you can be bothered to do proper exploring, you just get homing shurikens that you'd not normally get any other way. Name me another game that does that. Name me any other game that does that. Now, well, uh, as there's all these crates here, yeah, I'm about to say, I was going to guess that you were about to pop out this way, but that's fine, because I've got, I've got a flipping uh, machine gun here, so all of you are going to die. Everyone nice and dead? Yes. Uh, I know about that pad there, by the way. I can't use that yet. That's for later in the game when I come back here uh, with some more upgrades. I cannot get there yet. I'm trying to remember what I can do in this area, if anything. Uh, first things first, there's a chest. That's always a good sign. Uh, what's the weapon it gives you around here? Oh, it's not always weapons, actually. Just random stuff can be in chests, too. Homing missile! <laughs> so I've just been given, having only done the first mission of the game, homing missiles. You can get five of them. Obviously, they're pretty damn powerful. So, you know, it's not too surprising you only get, uh, only get a few of them. Uh, there's a thing here, but that's a locked trap door, so I can't do anything about that. Uh, and then, oh, yeah, this is the first case of the little vending machines. Uh, hang on, let me use that. A uh, little kind of summony vending machine. This summons a technically one of Mizar's drones, but uh, mysteriously, yes, he, he speaks in a kind of a wheeler dealer accent. He's a diamond geezer mercenary bot, and uh, he'll give you, uh, yeah, uh, all four weapons uh, top up for 10 tokens that restore health, or get away from me, you awful thing. Because I don't know, apparently Jet Force is just awfully, uh, awfully superior about dealing with darn mercenary bots. 
Uh, but yes, that's very cool, isn't it? Um, but yeah, for those little tokens, and I don't have many of them so far. I probably do have about, I probably just have five. Um, they were the tokens I picked up last part in the little secret area where we got the fish food. That's the tokens that he needs. Uh, but it's like I can't get in here yet because I don't have any way to get this trap door open. If I recall correctly, there's no way to do it yet. So don't need to worry about that just yet. In fact, I think that's all I can do in this area, full stop. Um, so as I can't do anything else... With the tribal that I can see over there. Can, I just get, can I get a lock on him? Alright, and Chuck! You gonna be able to get it? Oh, you are a very lucky tribal. You're a very, very lucky tribal. Not that lucky, mine. Okay. Oh, look at the blood splatter! Oh, look at the splatter! That's beautiful. I couldn't have got all six in this area anyway. And they just, um, they do regenerate when you revisit next time. Um, so it doesn't make the slightest bit of difference. And this area, you just go back to your ship at the beginning when you're done. There's, uh, there's no... I don't think there actually is an exit ship. Uh, most of the, um, the little bonus levels are much smaller than the actual levels. So you just kind of go there and you get some free stuff. Oh, this game just giving me... So I've now just got the homing missile launcher. I don't... I actually think, um, because generally, um, all the... Every, basically, um, all the characters have a chance to get pretty much all of the, uh, all of the weapons. Uh, almost actually, but some of them you have to wait until you've done the game and you can visit each other's levels to get all the weapons. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's actually the only place Juno can get a homing missile launch, because normally he wouldn't get that during his first run through the game. He gets a different rocket launcher in the next mission, but doesn't get that one. So, going through all the rigmarole of finding the secret yellow key and going through the depository now means I have a homing missile launcher I would otherwise not be able to get with Juno until effectively the post game if you like so pretty damn cool if I do say so myself and with that done we're back where we started we can get straight back into the Anubis uh, where we began this little fun business and I will do the Anubis now uh, yes hello who are all of you uh, you you can be blown up you can die. You can also die. You dead. Okay, and then... Ah! Homie missile launcher. Homie missile launcher. Very useful for... Uh, very useful for snipers. Uh, beautiful. Oh. This game! Now, where are you? Um, you can't, by the way, just use the... Um, oh, don't blow them up! There's... Uh, be careful of the, uh, the uh, explosive barrel he's standing next to. Because he's got uh, tribals next to him there. Uh, yes, there's a couple of them here. There we are. Um, they yeah, they made a bad decision of where to stand. They probably could have picked a safer place to stand, to be honest. Uh, but never mind, eh? So, yes, here we are. We're now back in the Anubis. This is the actual main area that we were actually supposed to be in all along. I'm just going to quickly top up everything. Plasma shotgun ammo there. Ah, and conveniently, the uh, the circuit boards that I broke last time, the one I passed last time, uh, is still broken. So uh, remember about those, because that's a very useful thing to uh, to know about. Uh, we'll be keeping a lookout for all of those as we go through this mission, because all of them are uh, very, very useful. In fact, you need them if you want to get all the tribals, I believe, because uh, we'll get to a prison at the end where you need to have blown up all of those in order to get all the tribals. You don't have to, of course. There's no, there's nothing to kind of say, yeah, you know what, screw it, I won't bother. I just can't be bothered. Um, Oi, hello. You were unfortunate. Actually, if I recall correctly, this is a nice big open area where I'll see the enemies from a while away. So, oh yes. Hello, yes, you can have a you can have a thing. You can have one too. And oh yes. Okay, that one's going for him. Oh, there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of uh, these guys. Oh I need to be careful, I need to be really careful! I need to be flipping careful. Apparently I don't have any health. Um, right, I need to be really careful at this point. Uh, let's go over to the homing missile launch because it's safe. Uh, I just need to avoid enemies. Oh! Okay, you can have a homing missile launch. Oi! How did you avoid that? You get. Uh, yes, okay, so that means, uh, because that's happened, that means I know... <laughs> Head just goes flying about. Okay, I need to get some health back. Um, health gems can be shot. They have collision detection on them. Uh, this is not something that you kind of, the game again brings attention to, it's just something you kind of have to figure out for yourself. Ooh, it's a shuriken, lovely. Uh, so I can get a five unit Gemini there. And then I'm going to go to, oh yeah, and then just, I'm going to go in here and do it this way. Yep, machine guns, machine guns, beautiful, lovely. Uh, does that get you anything? I can't remember if that even gets you anything, taking out all the air force, it might not do. Uh, right, let's just get all the five-unit Geminis down anyway. 
I'm just going to quickly top up my health with them. And I think another thing that people often forget about uh, Jet Force Gemini was uh, there was a lot of ways you could play it. Like, you didn't have to play it kind of running around aiming like I've been doing so far. It was perfectly and indeed uh, viable and fun to just go around with a shotgun like this, just relying on the auto aim. Uh, hello. Oh dear. Oh, blimey. Yeah, you can shoot grenades out of the air, by the way, and the auto aim will actually do a pretty good job on that, too. Uh, were you still alive? Oh, no. You, you died to your own grenade, you fool. Uh, yes, you can just kind of run around and rely on the uh, the auto aim, which was pretty... It wasn't, like, overpowered, but, like, I'd say under the circumstances, it was it was as good as it needed to be. It was I think it was a very good balance uh, that they did there. Ah, now this bit worries me a bit. Uh, jumping. Precision jumping. Precision jumping in a shooter has never, ever, ever been a good thing. And jump. And careful, because I believe there is, if I recall correctly, a thing I want to hit down there. Yeah. Um, oh goodness sake, uh, yeah, 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 there we are, that's one the one I wanted to hit. Uh, the enemies are going to run alongside me trying to keep up. Oi, no, 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 and should be able to take your head off hopefully. Yep, pretty sure, oh no, he's not dead. You took that, well done. Okay, fine, you asked for it, you got up close, you shouldn't have done, that was your mistake. And uh, we've also probably got, ooh. We've got one of my favourite. Uh, we've got one of my favourite little things in this game coming up, which is um, the yellow ant. Hello, yellow ant. Aha! Beautiful. Yellow ants are basically coward ants. I think they pretty much only exist in this game to surrender. That's pretty much all they do, um, which is basically means you therefore choose your way to execute them. I choose death by fish food. Death by fish food. This is a good way for me to test whether fish food does any damage. It doesn't appear to. No. Uh, I'm going to choose Plasma Shotgun. Beautiful. Uh, they also often drop uh, health power-ups. That's, um, yeah, the red ones are full health. So, uh, always search for cowards. Always search for the damn cowards. Uh, the cowards are great. Uh, now are there any more circuit boards I need to take out up and around here? There might be. Oh, I see one up there. So, another cell door gets deactivated. And back over to the, uh, machine gun, which is basically your... Your safety weapon. Are we in the ramp room yet? Oh, yeah, we're in the ramp room. We're in the ramp room. Uh, now. Okay, so... Oh! <laughs> I was about to say, I need to keep an eye on the snipers. No, 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 you got bigger problems. Uh, let's take out that sniper. Oi! Tam machine pit. Machine gun is... Uh, don't don't rely on the machine gun for, uh, for accuracy, by the way. Uh, oh, hello. Just run into the box there. Uh, yes, clipping was not perfect. Uh, oh, heck. I think they might be able to run through that box. I think that box might have some wibbly collision detection on it there, because they are definitely capable of running through that box. Now, uh, that bleep, by the way, means uh, we've got uh, proximity mines. You might have recognised it. I don't think I pointed it out in the first part, but uh, it's there. Um, oh, flipping heck. Right, shurikens, where are you? Have a shuriken. There you are. Have fun. Your death is now coming towards you. There it goes. Beautiful. <laughs> Oh, and his gun even comes down the ramp to me. Now, if I recall correctly, there's going to be, uh... There's going to be, uh, airbound enemies here. Oh, yeah, there they are. Hello. Yeah, there we are. Nice thing is you can hear the enemies. The, um, the enemy, um, bugs kind of squeak and squeal. The enemies, um, who are... Oop. The enemies who are kind of proximity mines make a nice beep noise. Hello, where are you? There you are. You're dead now. Uh, yeah, the enemies that are, yeah, the, plenty of the enemies will kind of make squeaking and squealing noises if they're bugged. The, all of the, um, oh, oh dear, run, he just tossed a grenade. He tossed a grenade, what a bastard. Um, let's just blow up the thing he's standing next to, that will, ah, it didn't work. Oh, da run! Ooh, yeah, it's lovely. Uh, lovely, 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 well done. You did a good job there with that grenade. Oh, did you just die? Did you die? I'm not sure what killed you in that case. Is that full machine gun ammo? Oh, I love full machine gun ammo. That's the best thing. Um, you can set uh, weapons on the D-pad, by the way. I haven't got around to doing it yet. But as you, you probably noticed, you get a lot of weapons in this game. So it is worth kind of setting up your favourites uh, on the D-pad. Just so you kind of, uh, so you've got what you want. Now, uh, if I recall correctly, now I can get back up to the, the higher level. Um, from where I was before down this... Well, first I need to go down a really cool space corridor... Because this game was just showing off sometimes. I mean, bear in mind, okay, fine, in 240p, not uh, not in high definition. This was an N64 game. 
This was gloriously beautiful for an N64 game. It was amazingly pretty. Amazing work. Found my way to a mysterious little side tunnel here in the air vents by going through that space tunnel where I'm fighting bugs in the air vents. Quite frankly, almost a science fiction tradition, so I don't really mind it. And when I've got a machine gun this powerful and I run so quickly. It's, uh, it's kind of, this is kind of like the opposite to Alien Isolation. You are basically just charging down the air vent, blasting anything in your way with a machine gun and nothing can stand in your way. The aliens should all be running it. I mean, it's quite frankly not too surprising that uh, all the enemies, uh, for the most part, some of them do actually start surrendering to you. You really deserve to be surrendered to. Oi! Ah, but we found something in here. What have we found in here? A chest of some description. What is this going to give me? Cluster bombs! Uh, grenades, but more powerful. Uh, so obviously grenades that fire little extra grenades, because, you know, not not enough, obviously, as it is. Now I can crawl through this tunnel, and uh, I think I know what's through here, and it's nothing but uh, something for a little character I haven't got to in the game yet, so I don't need to worry about it just this minute, but I'm going to go and have an explore down the end here, just in case. Yep, as I thought, this is just an area for Floyd, who I haven't got to yet. Um, yes, there's, there's King Jeff, there's Floyd, who's a robot, there's... Rare had a kind of a pleasingly, I mean, not, you know, not a particularly uh, sophisticated, but it was a nice little touch how loads of the characters in this game have to, you know, your main characters are Juno, Vela, and Lupus, and you're part of Jet Force Gemini. All the characters you run into are just called things like Jeff and Floyd. It's lovely. I, I, I think it's a nice touch, personally. Ah, but one other thing while I'm kind of up top of the room that I had to jump across before is a totem. And a totem is a bonus feature, or probably a cheat, actually. No, actually, I couldn't find a cheat in the bonus menu, so I'm not sure what uh, what the deal is with uh, that. There may be something on the options menu that I missed. Ooh, capacity increase, lovely. Including uh, cluster bomb capacity. That's nice. I do like enjoy having cluster bombs to play with. Uh, might be able to top up my machine gun ammo there. Is that... No, it's plasma shotgun. Never mind, plasma shotgun's still really, really fun to just run around shooting everything with. Downstairs, I won't be able to find many um, top-ups for the homing missile launcher because the game's not expecting me to have them. Um, but that means I'll just need to rely on, like, those terminals I found earlier to top it up. Um, actually, I don't know if I can use, can I use anything to top those up? Uh, I might be able to. There might be kind of, the game might just be nice enough to expect you to have, ooh, blimey. I think I just accidentally triggered a thing there. Uh, the game might be nice enough to be expecting you to, ah, I found a thing. Lovely, deactivating a cell door there. Uh, oh, do the mines count as enemies? Is that why the door at the end hasn't opened yet? Oh no, that would be these things. Uh, never mind. Right, where are you guys all going? You guys going on a little trip? You guys just going to circle the room for a bit? I'm just going to let them. I'm just going to let them come back to me. I feel like these guys are going to come back to me in a second. Yeah, I feel like they're all dead now. Beautiful. Um, sometimes, yeah, they don't even seem to pose a threat, though. Actually, be careful of the ones that are just flying around doing acrobatics, because sometimes if they pass over you, they'll all launch into a massively powerful kind of spray simultaneously. It will tear you apart. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so probably the game's a bit too nice for that this early. But then, a game like this, where this early you could have multiple weapons you're not supposed to have, the game might actually be a little bit nasty. So, hopefully, if I've done all this correctly... And then now I'll be entering the prison complex and most of the doors will already be open, with the exception of a few where the control is next to them. So I've got, yep, I've got ourselves a tribal. And, ooh, that one's not open yet. Oh well, never mind. There's another tribal. Hello. Hello, tribal. And if I recall correctly, in a second... I'm going to run into someone who's not a tribal, but is in fact... Hello, Vela! And we, we we do some slightly janky animation show. Oh, we actually say things. Thanks, Juno. I knew I could count on you. So much for this place being deserted. Anyway, I promise to go after Lupus. You see, the bit of the story that Magnus decided not to tell was, uh, yes, that uh, Vela and Lupus were, of course, travelling together. And Vader was captured, but Lupus just decided that he, you know, couldn't figure out how to free her, even though it was just a case of, you know, shooting, shooting a few bits and pieces. And there's the warship that invaded uh, Goldwood again this time. So that's going to be Vader's first mission. If we were to go over to her, she'll actually be going straight after the attack ship itself. I, meanwhile, will be going basically, basically Juno's journey is to kind of go through the various places um, where the tribals live. He kind of goes through all the tribal world. Valak and Lupus kind of go on a bit more of a going um, on the attack 
after uh, they go on a bit more of an attack style thing after uh, after the uh, the bugs themselves they kind of go on an attack there anyway I think I should have now most of uh, I should have uh, most of the doors open and I'm hoping maybe the final one will be in here if I'm very very lucky no unfortunately not where is well, I don't want to go actually I'm still missing two as well uh, where would the other ones be? Oh, I wonder if I missed some of the top, because I didn't properly explore the top a minute ago. Alright, hang on, I'm gonna go see if I can find some more. Ah, I have ever found a tribal I missed while I was exploring. Oops. I found the bastard, he was right here in this room the whole time. Yep, never mind. And with the one that I found in the previous room, so that was lucky, I went and explored and found him anyway, because I walked straight past him the first time, I should now be able to have collected all the tribals for this area. You don't have to collect all the trials, by the way. In fact, in many ways, I wouldn't bother on your first attempt. But uh, the game will force you to sooner or later, so you kind of may as well. And I feel good that I've done it for not all, but most of the regions of the Anubis. Because like, you come back to previous levels with other characters and their abilities, and all sorts of new areas unlock. It's kind of amazing how much stuff there is. The thing that you've got to remember about this is, you could have just gone straight through this area. You could probably have done it in like 5-10 minutes. But instead, I found a secret area and a whole new little planet to go to that otherwise I wouldn't have found. And I, fa I rescued all the tribals and I went to the conveyor belts and I found another- like, so much stuff! Anyway, let's go, shall we? Ten rescued. 100% accuracy with my homing shuriken, who'd have thought it? And having cleared out the Anubis, we leave it behind and decide to crack on our way. I'm not sure why you find the sh your own ship at the end of the level. Kind of, it's gone from the landing pad and you kind of find it, uh, no, 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 we're sticking with Juno, we're sticking with Juno for now. Yeah, you, you find your own, uh, you find your own ship at the end of the level. It's almost like it takes itself to the end of the level and you have to catch up with it, which is a little bit mysterious. And here we are, I love the music by the way, I'm just going to pause the music. And from the heroic uh, Jet Force Gemini theme as we cut through the clouds and reach this sort of desolate planet, this mysterious planet with very strange lumbering creatures in the background, the music fades to this kind of weird haunting noise. And yes, these strange, strange creatures behind us in the opening area. So if we kind of go up to them, they just throw things at us. You can shoot them. But they, can't, they don't seem to be able to... Can they, does it even hurt what they throw? I can't even remember whether it's just artificial or not. And you can shoot them, but they just refuse to die. Now, of course, what the game isn't counting on is that I picked up some cluster bombs earlier. So, uh, bye! Yeah, you see, you can actually kill them. And then cluster bombs, lovely little extra little things happen there. Lovely. Uh, and I think I can also use my homing missile launcher to blast them apart. Um, the game is sort of assuming that you won't be able to deal with them yet because only explosive weapons actually blow these guys apart do anything. I'm assuming they're resistant to... Yeah, they're resistant to the uh, the shuriken. Of course they are. Uh, plasma shotgun at full charge can stun them, but can it actually do anything to them? Oh no, it can do. Plasma shotgun with enough full charges, but they're pretty tough and they're not that useful. But yes, we are here now on this... Uh, this strange little planet where uh, mysteriously the enemy seem to have turned into zombies which is uh, interesting and I think we will get into exactly why that is next time where we will explore Torfret and try and figure out what it is <laughs> hadn't noticed that before you, you don't notice that you notice so many things in HD that you wouldn't notice um, when it's like just 240 on the N64 that obviously uh, you are inside right now a small circular room and you can clearly see the gap there between the uh, where the tree hits the completely solid supposed cloud fog line. <laughs> oh, it breaks the illusion a little bit. I was happier on the N64 where everything was blurry so you couldn't see that. But uh, yes, we will pick this up next time. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. It's been many a true nerd. And this has been the glorious Jet Force Gemini. Thank you very much and goodbye. Down, 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 get off it. Just hop off. Oh, oh, oh no, oh that was wrong! I would untie and save you, you understand, but there is a hovercraft. I really hope the bear's not still around. The bear is still around! The bear's still around! The bear's still around! Good news, guys! Elephants here! Hey! hey!